Yo, what's good, everybody? Uh, today, I'll be showing you my build for Silver Slam at Diablo 4. I went with Frenzy and Upheaval as my main build. Frenzy is our buffer for our core skill, which is Upheaval. It goes hand in hand, amazing uh, synergy, both skills. Now, we got all three shouts, even though they got nerfed. Um, I didn't get any luck with aspects for defensives, so no barrier, no fortify. So, I had to go with the challenging shout for damage reduction. We got one point in it, but already itself, you know, damage reduction is pretty sweet. It's 44, 40%, excuse me, but I got this one from items, so I'll show you in a second. Now, our fourth skill is Steel Grasp. I really like that skill because it brings so much to the table. The value you get from that skill is absolutely crazy. Vulnerability, Berserking, pulls targets towards you, as you can see in the video. That's two charges, like, that's just insane. And then uh, the nerf to Rolling Cry, which gives you resource generation, was pretty huge. Marp struggles kind of with that, especially if you have no aspect for shout cooldown reduction like myself. I have to wait a long time for shouts, which is pretty huge. But I got really lucky with one of the aspects I wanted, which was attack speed for your basic skill. So not only Frenzy already gives you attack speed itself, also for your other skill, like Abibel, but it also... Uh, gets the benefit from the aspect itself attack speed and as you know attack speed means faster animations aka higher dps you know faster damage means higher dps so that one that one thing is absolutely amazing now at this event or at this boss elite i got pretty rare you know i got i got legendary which is pretty rare because the drop rate nerf to those to reflect the launch release, that's pretty rough. Getting Legos is pretty rough, so we are limited with gear as well. I got quite lucky, but I did not get the main damage multiplayer aspect, sadly. Hopefully, I'll get lucky with uh, launch, but I don't know. I want to say I got pretty lucky because I got quite a lot of uh, legendaries. Even though I should have been, I wasn't really focusing on farming those. Uh, I haven't really done a huge extensive farming for this beta, like targeting specific dungeons and whatnot. But I will be showing you now the build that I use for this. So we got Frenzy. Uh, I would like to put all points in here because if you get the aspect for attack speed for a basic skill like I got over here, I put it on amulet on purpose because aspects of amulet are 50% uh, more effective. Now for two enders, it's 100%. So it's the double, uh, double the effect of the aspect. But I put it on the uh, amulet 42% uh, more attack speed for basic skill. On top of the frenzy that gives you attack speed for each stack as well so that's 60 percent attack speed and it also gives you attack speed for your other skills while berserking so for each stack so 15 percent higher attack speed for upheaval while berserking now we got steel grasp that gives us berserking but uh, more to that in a second that's our builder buffer for upheaval this is our core skill they luckily didn't nerf the damage on this one but uh they nerfed the damage on this, so it used to be 8% for a stack, uh, so 10 times 80% damage increase before, now it's 30%, which is a good nerf, uh, it was too strong, too much damage, uh, Barb was dealing a lot of damage, and you know, being level 20 with limited gear and skill points, not too shabby, 1 point railing cry, uh, again, all 3 shouts I think are a necessary thing to get, ne necessary skills to get for each build, so, makes us unstoppable immune to CC, amazing. Uh, you can, by, way, by the way, use the shout while you're CC'd as well to free yourself from the CC if you don't have it on time in cooldown before you get CC'd. Fear generation and resource, this one got nerfed pretty hard, that's why it struggles. One point in challenging shout just for the uh, damage reduction. I could probably go with max HP here and even put one point here from Frenzy, so two points here for more fury gen. But I really like the Frenzy damage with the aspect. Uh, if you don't have enough fury or, bu or builds for upheaval. War Cry, one point. I got more points from the gear. I think contribution 2, as you can see. I only got one point here when berserking. Uh, didn't get this one because this is absolutely useless on bosses or like on less than six enemies, which is quite a lot of enemies. And this one also got nerfed damage, I think. We got fortify here. I could probably take this, but I don't have any aspect that increases damage while fortified or stuff like that. Or I could get gems in my gear. Damage reduction for fortified, but then again, this is only 15% from base life, which is, you know, 48, 45 is not that much. It's pretty weak. Now we get points in Steel Grasp. Uh, two charges, pulls targets to you, only 11, uh, 11 second cooldown. 
applies vulnerability for two and a half seconds. And here it applies Berserk for two seconds. And that's amazing. That's 8% or eight second Berserk right here. You know, fourth from here, fourth from Warcry. I would say it's pretty good. Another good builder for this build could be a uh, Lunging Strike. If you get a Berserk on crit here, which couldn't be, you know, could be could be good as well, especially while leveling. Also, he'll do here. Lunging Strike overall is pretty good damage, but I will make another video for leveling Barbarian build, and you will see later on, uh, before release or whatnot, uh, how strong it is or like how beneficial it is to run that. So this goes for the skill. If you want to go absolute mid max. You could rotate between skills if you have them from uh, items like as you can see here on my amulet plus defensive and brawling skills so you could press s and swap around the skills uh, depending on cooldowns whatnot if you want or if you're you know traveling somewhere you could just uh, slot leap and charge instead of shouts that you don't need while traveling min max but that was about the skills now the gear uh, nothing too crazy here. I was stacking or I was trying to go for main stance this time. I wanted to see how it pays off, but uh, honestly, it's not too bad. Gives you crit chance. That's why I went for dexterity. I like crit chance on barb. Very good stat. Besides the damage increase. So crit chance, crit damage, attack speed are your main things to focus on. Then physical damage increase, strength as well, because this one that increases the skill damage and armor as well. It's probably my main survival survival ability or like survival thing is armor. I could probably uh, get it more. Uh, I slotted the poison gem here because of Ashava, but I could get slots on the jewelry here for armor for the skull as I have here only one. So some resistances. I went with maximum HP. If I had the aspect that gives you 45 while berserking, I would probably go with blue gems because those give you damage reduction while fortified so chest piece uh, damage reduction from close to enemies is pretty good too so armor and damage reduction are your main survivability things survival things so there we go mm, i got these gloves uh, that aspect is not uh, active because i have a better one on my two-hander so this is basically you know i am i didn't have any luck with aspects for armor yet at all and i have nothing to place it on the on these gloves the legendary I got from the video, as you can see, is uh, this one. It's not too bad for this build as well. Because we were swapping quite often, right? We got friends with dual wield and able with two-hander. So that's just that's the swap right there, right? So this could potentially be pretty good. But 10 times swap is quite a lot. But you know what? I could might, might just as well put it on the gloves, right? Because uh, why not, right? Why not? So gloves here, crit chance, attack speed, you want to focus on that. I don't have attack speed, but at least crit chance, although it's the lowest roll. Uh, dexterity, all stats, strength, amazing. Depends here, damage reduction once again, plus war cry, sockets here as well, amazing. Also, we got barrier here if I'm uh, injured, which is, I believe, 25% HP. Work me if I'm wrong. Evade here, why, so it gives you movement speed while you evade. Very good for mobility. As you can see, we were slow. We all don't have any movement speed except the shout, the rattling cry here. That gives you 30%. Comes in handy. So more stats here, more resistances. Not too bad to have, I would say. These two are the same, pretty much. Our two-hander main damage weapon is this uh, mace. Uh, high roll of strength, great damage, core skill as well, even though that's the lowest roll. But you can see there, overpower damage is the base for mace weapon, so this two ender could be good the aspect. I got this one, a boil deal damage with berserking, you inflict base damage dealt as bleeding, which is not too bad, but it's not too crazy considering this is on two hander max roll, you know, 100% more increased effect of the uh, of the aspect, but it doesn't do that much. Good while leveling, I'm good for stacking targets as well. Yeah, not too bad. We didn't have anything else. I went with crit, crit strike damage to vulnerable enemies. As you could see, we get vulnerability from steel grass pretty often because it has two charges. Low cooldown as well. I love this skill. My one hair is here. I got uh, while attacking with basic skill, increases damage of the core skill uh, up to 30%. So that 30% doesn't change if you put it on to ender, it stays the same. But rolls on this uh, axe is very good. Great damage. Or skill damage and damage to close enemies. We are melee build, so that's what you want to go after. 
damage to healthy enemies is pretty good as well uh, as the baseline or default uh, affix for implicit stat on the weapon which means mobs with full HP will get that increased damage Sword here is pretty good as well. I would probably go with Swords because it gives you crit strike damage. So I would probably want to stack with that uh, at uh, higher levels with crit chance. Uh, we got all stats plus strength and crit strike damage. Very good if you ask me. And we got for each uh, Fury while you generate uh, at max Fury, your next core skill deals increased damage up to uh, 23%. We'll probably put it in two hander, but then again, it's nothing too crazy. Like a lot of these damage multiplier aspects got nerfed hard after the beta and it's really good because uh, some builds were too strong, some skills were too strong. So I'm glad they went with that. We're missing gems here on the weapons, uh, on the weapon. So for another gem slot, it is what it is. Another 200, the sword. Mm, we don't really use this one at all for any skills. It's just there for the stats. So all stats increase, score skill damage increase and that lucky hit is not too crazy, you know, execute non-injured enemy, uh, non elites that's useless, I would say. This imprint, I got uh, lucky with the highest roll, so the skills deal up to 40% damage based on the primary resource. That's why we want to cap our Fury with Frenzy before we go into Upheaval, so we can benefit the most from these aspects. Oh, uh, this one. Again, crit strike damage to vulnerable enemies. Uh, on the rings, you want to focus on crit chance. That's what I went with as well. So this is an absolute god roll. We got crit chance, crit damage, and physical damage. Everything we need. Now we got more damage increase uh, for each second with stand still, which is pretty good. Against Ashava, it was pretty good as well. But Ashava moves a lot since uh, that second phase. Jumps a lot. So yeah, not too bad. Not the best. It, whatever. On the other one, we got damage to close enemies is another uh, uh, trait, another stat you want to focus on. We got crit chance, damage to CC is not that great, you know, we don't CC mobs, or I mean bosses. Unless you stagger them, as you could see, uh, notice Ashava or like bosses uh, at the end of the dungeons, they got this little, I would say white or gray bar that fills up and then it starts ticking off as a blue bar. That's when they are staggered, that's when these stats uh, actually apply now we got this um amulet which is pretty good for re re damage reduction from close enemies uh, again uh, plus a defensive and brawling skills so which means that's a increase plus one to our shouts here plus one and work right as well because it's brawling defensives and once again basic skill increase i could probably put it on a two ender so we could we could be even uh, faster with our frenzy AK faster build up, AK faster, you know, uh, fury generation and DPS. That would probably mean, mean the uh, have the most benefit from that. But that is the gear. That's the sockets, consumables. You want to get armor for leveling because this one requires only level five. Gives you experience. Um, if you are struggling with any specific resist, mostly cold because of the slow and damage whatnot, those hit pretty hard. This last was uh, was or Ellie was cold as well you could see in the video so this comes in handy another great um potion probably the best one as far as we know is this one the attack speed as we as you can see we're all about the attack speed uh and yeah i would say this was pretty much it mm, i will have another video about bar with leveling because i found pretty good leveling build as a matter of fact after this video i will go level my other barbarian and i will uh i'm gonna focus on grinding some of the gear in stronghold there is a way to get level 20 items for this beta and this stronghold but it requires for the stronghold to be locked not opened as you can see i already cleared it it's opened i gotta make another character but if you guys like the video uh please consider liking it uh hitting the thumbs up that would mean a lot to me and um yeah to trigger those youtube algorithm gods until then y'all have a good one i'm live every day on twitch as well links will be in the description have a good one take it easy talk to you soon Peace.